I'm in my storage unit working on my bike, but this is not the bike that you are used to seeing. So I have some explaining to do. So I talked about at the start of the year that I wanted to get a new bike and that finally happened. So you can see the bike is orange. So I switched manufacturers from Yamaha to now KTM. And not only did I switch manufacturers, but this bike is a 300. So I switched from a 250 to now a 300. So I'm really excited for this thing. I'm super pumped. I've been riding the Yamaha for, I think it was the last five years or six, the last five or six years. So it's been a while since I've had this new bike feeling. Uh, now I switched to the 300 just because of the bottom end power and I want to start doing some enduros and more hair scrambles and I think that might help me out. So I haven't actually ridden the bike yet and my first ride on it is actually going to be this weekend for the Summer Bummer Sprint Enduro in Roselawn, Indiana. So... <laughs> new manufacturer the ktm new displacement the 300 why not have the first ride be a race but in all seriousness um i'm gonna treat this race more as a ride just to get to know the bike and we'll have marked trails so um there it will be beneficial for me just to have a loop to ride around and the way the sprint enduros work um, i don't see it being much of a problem for this first ride it being a race uh the only issue would be if something happened which hopefully this bike holds up at least for the first ride just started downpouring outside here so definitely hear that a uh, crummy day but yeah i'm just in the unit here checking things over um being a hypochondriac about everything since new bike first ride um I I don't want anything to go wrong, but we just need to, I guess, go for it and see what happens. Now, I got this bike for a really good deal, so there were a few issues um, right off the bat with it, but for the price I paid for it, it wasn't major. Uh, the forks were leaking, so um, took those to D&W Cycle Specialties. I uh, had them reseal them and also the front tire was completely flat so um, also had them change out the the tube and also give me uh, a new tire so a few upgrades right off the bat but I think aside from that this thing's ready to roll forgot to mention today is Monday August 9th so we still have a few days before the race um, I was supposed to be in Lansing Iowa for a vacation um, but the weather has just been absolutely horrible and decided to just come work on the bike instead um, so yeah had the day off work so just doing the the walkthrough of this thing um, and then here in a few days next Saturday we'll actually finally be able to ride It is Friday the 13th, so the day before the race, lucky Friday the 13th, and I decided last minute to drain the hydraulic fluid from my clutch, well it's actually just brake fluid, dot four, so I decided last minute should probably do that because I'd hate to lose my clutch in the middle of the race, but working on a storage unit just, it sucks. I'm disgusting right now. I was bleeding the clutch for 10 minutes and this is what I look like. So hot storage unit, no AC, it, it's not fun. So if you have a garage, just count your blessings, I guess. And working out of this small five by 10 unit, it's, it's not easy, but ended up getting the job done. So the reason I did this is because I rode this bike around my yard for a few minutes a few weeks ago and the clutch would just disengage the second I let out the lever so I had to bleed it and I just rode it around the unit um, don't know if I'm allowed to do it but screw it um, and the clutch felt a lot better so there were quite a few air bubbles in the line but 
The hydraulic clutch, I don't know if I love it or I hate it. It's something I'm gonna have to get used to. Before with the um, clutch lever, or the, not the lever, but uh, the cable clutch, you could just adjust it manually on the handlebars here, where this clutch, if you have issues, you have to bleed the lines, so just an extra step. But regardless, I'm gonna load some stuff up and I will see you on race day tomorrow. All right, today is Saturday, August 14th, race day. I am super excited to get to the track. So we're all loaded up and we're about to take off here in just a few minutes.
So we just got back to my storage unit and I realized I completely forgot to vlog anything at the track. So I apologize for that. I was getting a few shots of the mini races and then started talking to people. And then before you know it, we were off racing. But my thoughts for the day. So a couple of firsts. It's my first sprint enduro and my first time at racing a KTM and my first time racing a 300. I really like this sprint enduro format where we go through that first loop and then we can do pretty much whatever we want for the next three and a half hours. We can tackle all of the loops right away. We can take breaks in between the loops. We can do tests two, which was the 7.5 mile test right away, get that out of the way and then go back and do the, um, uh, the shorter test. So I really like that aspect of it. It's a really chill, really laid back type of format. Um, now KTM and 300, it's different. It's going to take some getting used to. So I am used to the YZ250 and the way that you need to ride this bike is just a lot different. A lot of bottom end power. Um, I never really reached the power band on the, the bike. So um, yeah, interesting. And I stalled it a lot. So I'm going to have to tune the clutch maybe a little bit more. I'm really glad I bled the clutch and... Um, Filtered out some of the junk fluid um, last night or else this race would have been a nightmare. Um, Roselawn, Indiana, my first time there too. It's a fun track. Um, if I had to give some advice, I would say maybe a little bit more open trail if that's available. But I've been racing GPs so much lately that... <laughs> I think I had the wrong expectation going into this race. I thought it was going to be easy trail, um, kind of like a GP, and it was not. It was very, very technical stuff. Um, but overall, a fun day. I finished towards the back of the pack, 14th out of, I think, 17. So, again, the goal for the day was just to get some seat time on the new bike and... Um, get used to the bike, get some experience on it. And, um, I ended up doing that. So awesome day, really fun. So with that said, I will see you all in the next video.